up to my Jets family, man. Fellow Jets fans out there, what's good? Happy Friday to everybody, man. And the aftermath of the L that we caught last night. Just depleted by injuries once again. Another season with key players. And that's what makes it so difficult. You feel what I'm saying? But on a positive note, man, after I calm the hell down. Because us Jets fans, man, we just don't. We don't ever get off the clock of feeling bad. You know what I'm saying? It's always something. Always something. Like one man said, hey, we're cursed, dog. We are just a cursed team. Ever since Broadway Joe claimed the game and said we was going to win that Super Bowl, we ain't been shit since, man. I mean, we had a couple runs at it, but... Um, but getting back to the point, what I'm trying to say is about situation i see some positives in what's going on we're we're still a young team coming into a new era filled with uh new composure i'm trying to reinforce a new culture there's some things that i do disagree with 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 uh with what uh coach sala is trying to promote i just wish he would like start being stern with these players like yo you missed your assignment man get off on the bench bro you know what I'm saying? You're getting off the field to the bench. I wish we just start enforcing that and really just start, start, you know, be a coach, man. You remember when you was in high school and your football coach was mean as fuck? Mine was Coach Van. I'll never forget him. But he made me a better player. He made me want to become a better player. You know what I'm saying? He made me, after he made me run those hills up and down, talking about you ain't shit <laughs> until you get this hill in. And you better start guarding that damn Better have that free safety coverage going on. You know what I'm saying? All that crazy shit. But, yo, man, I respect coaches like that because they they, they, they light a fire up under you. You know what I'm saying? You can't be buddy-buddy all the time. Sometimes you got to, like, crack down and say, listen, bro, I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to actually make you a better player. So what are we going to do? You, you missed your assignment last week. I'm going to sit you down. Make sure you re reevaluate re things. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't think Sala comes with that kind of mentality. He's too much of a nice guy. I mean, the man even cussed and apologized for it. You're a coach, bro. Don't, don't apologize for that shit. Tell it like it is and mean it. <laughs> mean what you say, say what you mean. That's real talk. So I do have those kind of thoughts about Coach Sala, but he is a player's coach. And he's a, he's a stand-up dude, so he just does it in a way where it's just kind of too nice, you know what I'm saying? You got to be right, you know, right up in that shit, like, yo, we need to do better. <laughs> we ain't going to just accept this mediocre bullshit. We need to do better. So that's where I have my little qualms with that. But overall, though, I would say, you know what, he's still learning as a, as a main head coach. And uh, I, I would like to see him next year. You know what I'm saying? I, I see big ups with that. I think he's going to grow. Um, but LaFleur, man, hats off to LaFleur. Ever since he's been up in the booth, he's been promoting yards and, and uh, down downfield composure. You know what I'm saying? We are getting the ball down the field. Regardless of what quarterback comes up, up on the carousel next. And, and it's big signs of positivity. And I really do uh have have big you know big th I, positive ideas about that like positive notions on like saying LaFleur uh is our is our OC for sure i mean he's got the team looking looking pretty good on that offensive side of the ball he's still growing too um i remember we were like what the hell is this dude doing dialing up these kind of plays but i think he was really keeping Zach Wilson you know, under wraps, really not trying to do too much, run, run, pass. And, uh, you know, that, that style ain't running. That's Adam Gay style, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like uh, LaFleur is definitely going to be a good OC for the team. And he's dialing up things that uh, that throw the defense off, you know what I'm saying? So big ups to LaFleur, man. I feel good with the coaching system going on, man. We hired that um, Zach Wilson's little coaching uh, what's his quarterback coach? I forget his name, but yeah, I think we're just making some good all around moves to set up for the future. You know, right now this see this season is pretty much a wash, man. We're two and six. It's disappointing, but yeah, we expected it. But at the same time, I do see growth. 
Defense, though, is a little suspect. Marcus May is not the truth. I'm sorry, man. We could get rid of him, man. With, he's played with injuries, by the way. I mean, every year he, he hasn't played a full season since. He's better than average, but he's he's over he's over the top. He's like not as good as he thinks he is. Um, he's decent. If he stays another year with us, that's cool for less money or whatever. Um, but if he's you know willing to be traded, that's cool too, man. I don't see nothing special about Marcus May. You know what I'm saying? Um, Bryce Hall, I think he's a great cornerback. Front line needs to get it together, though. That front four, man. That front seven in general, like, put some pre – I think the scheme is bad, man. We do, we got too much zone defense just hanging out in the zone. And and you saw what happened last night. We got eight up. And not to mention the running, the running defense is garbage. I mean, damn – we ain't allowed this kind of yardage since Ted Cottrell. You remember the defense, the DC for for us back in the day, five yards a game. Like, come on, man, five plus. That looked horrible last night. So I'm a little bit, I'm suspect about that defense, bro. Like, yo, we need to we need to do something different, man. I wish we had that style of Rex Ryan defense. You remember how aggressive and crazy we were. We might have got burned on a couple of those plays, but we damn sure for the full game caused a lot of havoc on that run uh, rushing offense and uh, put put pressure on that quarterback. So these are the things that I'm just observing. And I, I feel like as a Jets fan, we have a lot more positives. I know that doesn't sound right, right? But we do have a lot more positives to look forward to. All we got to do is just remain patient. And it's easier said than done because, you know what, when we see shit like we saw last night, it's just going to piss us off. But anyway, um, I just want to give that up to the fellow Jets fans that's observing that shit with me. You know, I think we got good things coming if we're just patient. Hopefully by next year, man, we could be, you know, aiming at the playoffs, you know, trying to trying to cause some ruckus or trying to get to the playoffs. So let me know what you think in the comments below, man. I, I love y'all for your support. And your suggestions and uh, your comments and ideas, man. Man, I love. It's been a fun time doing these little videos. You know, it's the same shit I do every time. Shit's probably boring by now. But, yo, I'm going to just keep it 100. This is who I am, how I am. So, let me know what you think, man. Big ups. And as always, J-E-T-S. Just, just, just get it. I'll be in touch. One love.